Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. So today I'm bringing you a yard sale slash estate sale haul. Now, normally I like to take you guys with me on my adventures and I usually show a little bit of the, the footage from the actual sale or thrift store or wherever I may be shopping at the moment. Uh, and then I show the haul. Well, this week I didn't really, or this past week, I should say, because this haul is from a week ago and I'm finally getting around to filming it. So anyway, I did not get any, any real good usable footage at these sales. So we're just doing the haul this time around. So let's get into it. So before this estate sale, I hit up one yard sale and I got some decent things. I got a decent amount of things. And uh, so let's start with that. I'll show you what I got. All right, so at that sale, I picked up this Disney bag for a dollar and it's new with tags. I usually do pretty well with any kind of like Disney luggage or travel bag or carry on or whatever. Uh, usually about $18, $20 for something like this I'll get. So not so bad. Uh, then at the same sale, I picked up the Sleeping Beauty doll don't really know what she's worth the bottom of the package is kind of coming apart a little bit but for a dollar I figure you can't go wrong right and then I picked up let me grab a couple of these things all right so then I picked up this pair of girls Minnetonka moccasins they're a size three I paid two dollars for those I got a pair of under Armour sneakers, size 11. These are in very good condition. I actually paid up for these. I paid $10 for these, which is kind of unusual for a pair of Under Armour sneakers. I normally wouldn't pay that much, um, but I just kind of did. I don't know. I didn't know that they were going to be this much. And it was like at the end at checkout and she was like, oh, those are 10. And I'm like, ah, all right, I'll just take them. You know, it happens sometimes. So I think I should still be able to get at least 30 out of these. They're in really great condition. They're a bigger size, which is a plus. So then I grabbed this. I grabbed this for a dollar and I looked it over while I was there and I thought it was a really great deal. And then I realized that it has a lot of broken pieces. And this piece I actually just broke when I came in, but so yeah, I don't think she's going to be sellable at all. She has like way too many issues. Uh, the little top of the teapot is broken. This, whatever this was, is no longer there. A uh, piece of like the little rope that would come off like the drapes, that's missing. A lot of the fencing is missing. So yeah, it was a dollar, but definitely... Definitely not going to be a sellable piece because it just has way too many issues, if you ask me. Uh, so also at this house, I picked this up. This is a Possible Dreams Santa. This was a dollar, so I did grab it, but it is the Millennium Edition. And I, I tend to shy away from things because I feel like companies went crazy when it came to the year 2000 and producing stuff like this so but i will tell you i'm pretty certain i sold this exact one before and i think i got around 20 25 dollars for him so i mean you never know someone may need their item replaced they may have had this and loved it and dropped it or whatever oh here we go the backpack opens up i forgot this guy lights up well, he should light up. I don't think that there's any batteries in here. Let me try to open it real quick. Ooh. I don't think I'm gonna be able to without like a knife or scissors or something. Push up to close. Yeah, well, pushing down to open is not working. I will check him out, but yeah. So we'll see. He was a dollar. We'll see if I can get this guy sold for Christmas. And then I grabbed, where is it? Where is it? I kind of um, put everything down here in a very messy way. Oh, here we go. 
So I grabbed this watch and I paid up for this too. I paid $10 and I'm really sad that I didn't buy all of them. She had about, I think six or seven uh, various designs. This is Eeyore on a pink band and it's still new in the package. And I think I should be able to get like $40 or more for him. And I I'm kind of sad that I didn't buy all of them, but I didn't. So what are you going to do? But I did grab this one. I grabbed this for $2. This might have been a flop, but I like to take a chance sometimes. This is very tarnished. It looks like silver plate. It says uh, friendship heart, English silver, English silver. I, I guess means silver plate by the looks of this. So I don't know, it is made in India. It did have the $2 price sticker on it before I took it off and it was covering up that made in India thing. But I mean, we'll check it out. I'll see, see if it's worth anything. It's in this really cute little bag. All right, so then I got some clothes. They were a dollar. I actually, um, I got an Adidas shirt it's like a long sleeve, but it's cropped. Really cute, totally on trend. And I picked that up for three and that actually went to, that went to my daughter. She already has that in her clothing collection. This is in case I needed a hand. I got, I got back up tonight, but she's, she's bumping into me now. All right, so anyway, uh, Kenzie performance, just a pair of cropped workout leggings. This is a Frosty the so Snowman scrub top. Then we have a Chaps No Iron. It's kind of a uh, <laughs> black red check. Paul Bunyan. Always reminds me of like a, I don't know. Paul Bunyan. That's what it reminds me of. All right, so then I grabbed a Lauren Conrad sweater size XL. This is, this is nice. It's kind of soft. People love Lauren Conrad. It's a Kohl's brand, but it's got a following. I know I've said that before. I picked up this Lane Bryant 1416. This is really nice. It's like a nubby knit kind of sweater. So I think that will sell well. And then I got these Tech Gear leggings. I actually think I'm probably going to keep those for myself. And this is a pair of Calvin Klein performance leggings. I might give these to my daughter. I don't know yet. These are kind of cool though. They have like a little reflective strip down the side. And then here's another Chaps XXL. Just a very kind of staple wardrobe piece, right? And another Chaps non-iron or no iron. So yeah, that is what I got at the first sale. Okay, so then I got to the estate sale. This company is generally known for being very reasonable. And yeah, this time, I don't know. This time they were a little pricier. But uh, the best way is usually to bundle there and then ask for a price at the end, if you can. Now, this time, most of the stuff was already priced and it was pretty high. But I did manage to grab some stuff that was unmarked and just kind of bundled it all together. And this is what I got. So in my Ikea bag, I grabbed this Fenton. It's like a pink iridescent vase with like an applied rose. It's, you know, it's not the most spectacular Fenton piece, but I, you know, I think it's probably like a $20, $25 piece. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I grabbed these two Christmas ornaments. They are Irish. May the wind be always at your back and may the sunshine warm upon your face. So these are nice, very nice, probably made of like a, like a porcelain. I, I cannot think who made these. They normally have a little tag. Uh, I feel like, I can't think. I can't think of the company who normally does these, but they always put out like different sets of ornaments. 
and it's just not coming to me tonight so we'll have to look it up but i think that these will do okay i usually have have luck with like the irish stuff so then i got this license plate puzzle 1000 piece it's sealed united plates of america so i thought that was pretty cool you guys know i love to grab puzzles if i can find them sealed and that's just really neat it's just a really neat puzzle all right so then i grabbed all of these lennox placemats well these i believe are napkins but i tried to get the ones there were some that had stains so i tried not to get those I did pick up these four. These are Butterfly Meadow. I realized after I got home, this one was likely sent through the washer. It's it's a little bit smaller than the other, so it shrunk a little bit. Two of them are perfect, and one actually does have a little bit of marking, staining, whatever, right about, I don't know, because of the light, it's hard to see. It's like right in this area. So I did not notice that. I will still try to list those and just know all of that. I did grab these. These are three Butterfly Meadow napkins. They still have the tags on. And this one kind of almost looks like Butterfly Meadow, but yet it doesn't. Uh, it, does have, it does have the Lennox tag, but it does not it does not say the pattern of the of this whatever this is so I'm not quite sure it's it's very close to butterfly meadow but I don't believe that it is uh but I could be wrong all right so then I grabbed all of these and there are 22 of these here and I believe the pattern on this is ivy. That's what it says on here. I thought this might be butterfly meadow related too. They did have some butterfly meadow dinnerware, which is beautiful, but there seems to be so much of it around. I did ask them how much they wanted. They had like 10 dinner plates and just a couple other random pieces and they wanted $100. So that was way too much as far as like to resell because it's just, it seems like there's a lot of Butterfly Meadow on the market right now. So if you don't get the rare pieces, uh, I don't know. It's just $100 was definitely not worth it. But anyway, this says Ivy. So I am gonna look this up, but I got 22 of these, 22. They all still have the tag on the back, $10 a piece. So this is $220 worth of placemats. So yeah, then also in my Ikea bag, I got this little tea for one. So you would put the, the tea and the water in there. There's your cup, pour it out, drink it all in one shot right here. I just thought this was really pretty and it is by the brand Melly Mello. Never heard of that. Eliza Stripe is the... Uh, the pattern so I do have to still look that up and then and then I grab this grab this guy right here so this is a cast iron three keys one is marked in the center it says 1286 on this chain. I don't know what the heck this would be used for. I guess it's just decorative. I mean, I don't know. Like, where would you hang that from? I'm not really sure. What do you guys think this is for? <laughs> like, what is this? I mean, I like I said, I'm guessing it's just decorative. I mean, these these are not usable and they're huge. I mean, they're absolutely huge. So I don't think they would have ever been usable, you know, not even like, you know, it doesn't look like anyone took them and welded them together. Like it, it just looks like it was really made this way. So I don't know if you guys know anything about this, let me know. I just thought it was really cool. And even as a decorative piece, which I'm, I'm sure that that's exactly what this is. Just not sure where you hang it from or whatever, but I just, I had to pick that up. I just thought it was really cool. Hmm. 
And then I grabbed oh, Victoria's Secret Sports Bra. This came from the first sale. It was $2. I forgot to mention that or show that to you. Those typically do pretty well for me. Oh, look, there's some of my wall. My camera's moving. And yeah, so that's just how it is. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, this is where I take uh, photos of my clothing. This is like my backdrop. That's, well, my mannequin's here, obviously. She's dressed, she's ready to go. She's ready to party in her cocktail, her cocktail dress. Anyway, so in the basement, there was a bin of baby clothing, some blankets, stuff like that. One of the other ladies, um, local to me, Sally. Hello, Sally. I'm sure you're watching this. She was digging through the bin before me and she actually pulled out the cutest little baby boy, like puffer vest, totally vintage. It was like different rainbow colors. It was literally the cutest thing ever. So she grabbed that really awesome. I grabbed this. This is an 18 month, just cute little cardigan sweater. It's a uh, bebe by Cradlecraft. It is made in Italy. 18 months, it says there, but I thought that was really cute. And then I picked these up, um, Oshkosh vest back. They're a pair of just like footed corduroy overalls. They look totally vintage. They have, they have like, oh, these are six to nine months, but they have this, um, united garment makers of america tag in here and i just thought these were really cute so yeah all of that stuff that whole bag ended up being twenty dollars so i think that i bundled a good amount of stuff and uh definitely happy with it so then on the way home, wasn't really planning on stopping anywhere else. And I just happened upon a couple of yard sales. So of course I stopped. I grabbed this James and the Giant Peach collection doll. I thought that was kind of unique. It is the centipede. I never watched this whole movie when it came out, but I did read the book when I was younger and I loved it. It was one of my favorite books ever. I just totally loved it. So when I saw this, I just had to get it. I mean, I'm not going to be keeping it, but I still, I still had to get it. So I paid $8 for that. And I think I should be able to get around 35 to 40. All right, then the final sale I stopped at Actually, no, I stopped at two more. <laughs> so one of the final sales I stopped at, I got this Disney Mickey Mouse and Friends Sega around the world. I don't know. But I just, I grabbed him. He was $2. He's like an Oktoberfest kind of Mickey. He's got the pretzel and everything. So he, he's going to be good to get listed for, for this time of month. Then I grabbed a whole lot of these Betty Boop dolls. And this lady wanted $3 a piece, but I ended up getting them for a dollar a piece because I bought 10 of them. So she said, the more you buy, the cheaper they will be. She had a few others, but they got wet. So I did not want to mess with those. Uh, I forget what she said happened to them, but I only took the dry ones, made sure, you know, that they didn't have any odors or anything like that, made sure they were in good condition. So I just got, um, these are from the World Traveler collection. This is like a spooky Betty Boop. I got a couple of these are like different Halloween. Uh, she's another one around the world. So all different ones. These are not gonna bring a million dollars, guys, but they were cheap. I paid $10 for all 10 of them. And I should be able to get at least $10 a piece. So, you know, that's going to be a good profit when all is said and done and they're easy to list. Sell similar, 
change the photos, change the title a little bit, and boom, it's, it's just easy money. So I just can't pass stuff up like this, even though, you know, like I said, it's not going to be like a super high profit or whatever, but it's still easy profit. So yeah, I'm not going to show you all of those, but I did get, I did get a whole, a whole bag of them. Like I said, 10. Then I got this super cool t-shirt for a dollar. Loved it. So this is a vintage hefty by TJ's, I believe that says. It's um, made in the USA. This The label is like torn in half. Made in the USA, size XL. It is a single stitch. And it's Elf. It's Elf. He's like in a director's chair. Lunch. Lunch always on his mind. And it says Florida on the bottom. But yeah, I just, I used to watch ALF all the time when I was a kid. I loved ALF. So really, really cool to find this. Paid a dollar for it. And I think that will do, will do really well. And then the final item, I grabbed this Squeezo strainer. I did take it out. It is new, old stock, basically. I mean, it's been opened. Uh, one piece has a little bit of like, not really rust, just kind of like a surface patina, I guess, just from age. But most of it is pretty nice and shiny. And this is basically uh, a way to like puree, you know, like tomatoes or let's see here, uh, tomatoes, apples, pumpkins, squash, berries, and more. So a lot of people can use these for like canning, preserving, and stuff like that. So I paid $5 for this, and I should be able to get about $45.50 for this one, maybe even a little more. So pretty, pretty happy about that. So yeah, that wraps up my Friday haul from last week. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and hopefully a lot of money. <laughs> I think so. I think I'll, I'll, I think I'll do really well with all of this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Comment. Let me know what you think about that little uh, key thing. I don't know. Can't figure it out. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. Until next time, bye.